this is my hardcore Iron Man McSkittles 95. And yes, that is a crossbow, an amulet of Everice, and a Vigorous Chain Mace. In fact, I am one item away from completing Revenants. Ooh, you're hard. But my goal is not to complete Revenants, it is to complete the whole wilderness. So far, I am over halfway, but I am not even close to being done. I'm just one spec, one teddy block, one peak gear away from losing it all. But first, let's take a step back and see how last episode ended. After getting some essential tank gear upgrades and collecting hundreds of Laren's keys, we finally got our first Dagonite piece. And just a few keys later, I got the exact same Dagonite piece again. Anyway, with this small recap, let's get into the video that I believe to be the best one that I have ever made. Alright, before we get into the wilderness stuff, it is time to run some laps, because for what I plan on doing in this episode, I am gonna need a crystal shield, and that requires 56 agility. This should be the final obstacle. Yeah, that is 56 agility. Let's go do some speedy questing. Kaboom! And there we go, that is a regicide completed, so we just need one more quest. And that is roving elves completed, and there is our crystal shield. I'm also gonna get myself another crystal shield, and there we go, beautiful. So this is my tank gear now, and the crystal shield is gonna make it so much better to tank peak gears. But there is one small problem, and it is the gloves. I can't take it anymore, especially because I have a mace now, the strength bonus from Barrel's gloves is actually gonna matter, so it is time. Completed, 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 completed. 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 And that is Fremenic Isles completed, which puts me at 175 quest points, and you know what that means. I gotta be the first hardcore to ever do this with a Webweaver bow. There we go, he has exploded, and that is Recipe for Disaster completed. And now it's time to finally get some decent gloves. And there we go, Barrow's gloves obtained. And now I don't look like a complete idiot anymore, which is beautiful. And that being said, it is now time to go hard in the wilderness. Oh, there is a spider task already. And this means we can use our mace and the barrel's gloves at the spindle. That is really exciting. Alright, so these are the uniques that I have already. So if I get any of the other ones, that would be amazing. And hopefully I don't get teleblocked because it can get very scary there. Now luckily I've done a lot of revenants lately, so that is 16k ether, and that is a fully charged Vigorous Chain Mace. Let's go to the spindle. Okay, I still have to kinda learn the melee method, but this seems way better DPS than the crossbow already, even though I'm only 60 attack and 75 strength. Now the only issue seems to be that my run energy goes down really fast, and that is a problem because that is gonna make my trips very short. Okay, I need to fix this run energy problem and it's gonna sound stupid, but I think I'm gonna get graceful to do the spindle on a hardcore. So luckily, I do have some marks of grace from doing agility and this should be enough to buy myself the boots and also the cape. And I am now gonna look like an absolute clown, but that is fine because this should allow me to keep up my energy and do way longer trips. Okay, I look like an idiot, but the graceful tech actually works because if I don't make any mistakes now, my energy stays at almost max, which is amazing. Oh my god. Yo. That is... That's my first Void Waker piece. I was not expecting this at all. I'm, I'm gonna tell you out for a second. I, I need a minute. And that is another Wilderness Unique obtained, which is amazing. And this means that I just need the Treasonous Ring now, because I can actually get the Dragon to Hander from another Wilderness boss as well, so we might be getting close to completing Spindle, but we'll see. That is 77 strength, and I gotta say, I am getting a lot of XP here. Nah. Nah, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm not even going for the pets, but I mean, I, I will absolutely take it. That is that is going to be really cool to have a spider follow me for the rest of this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Imagine I get the treasonous ring now. That would just be the most insane task ever. And that is the spider task completed. No treasonous ring on the final kill, but this task was insane. 
Dust Devils, I actually just watched a friend video and he had something funny to say about this. Dust Devils, why did, why was this enabled? I do not want this at all, none of these, that is way too risky. I've seen some other hardcore admin do this, like on video and stuff, like, no. I actually love him, I am so happy that he's back to wilderness content. And there is a superior which makes this task even better because these have a guaranteed Lerensky drop and there's also the chance of getting an imbued heart which would be huge. And Dust Devil task completed with only 2 keys which is well below average but this puts me at 10 keys in total and that means we're going to the chest. Now the reason why I'm gonna go every 10 keys now is because I am well over the drop rate for full Dagonite so I feel like every opening now could be the one where I get the final 2 pieces. It doesn't look like I'm gonna complete it this time and the final key is... Nothing. Ooh, okay, now these are exciting because if I get the scepter, we've completed revenants. Now you might know that I use a method which allows me to save spot revenants either by using an alt account or by using a natural save spot. And this is not bug abuse, it's simply using a mechanic to force them to try and melee me. And I wanna give this warning, this method is not safe. In fact, if a P-Gear knows what you're doing, it is really easy for them to hit you. And the task has been completed with a juicy looting bag as always, but I'm only really interested in the scepter now. 10 keys in the bank once again, and that means it is time. And no Dagonite pieces again. I was actually feeling it this time, but it is what it is. Okay, so I got a Chaos Druid task again, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I still need the Elder Chaos Rope Top, so maybe this is the task. And that is the task completed. No Rope Top, sadly, but we do have a Clue Scroll to complete. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of Clue Scrolls because I still want a Blastiite Body and Blastiite Chaps. There is the casket, and we get... Oh, we actually got one. That is an Ancient Deite Body. And ever since the update, this is a big upgrade over a Black Deite Body, so that's gonna be amazing for tanking. This is so nice to get. And after this, I got assigned and completed 4 Revenant tasks, but as always, never lucky. 78 strength and these levels are going so fast with this maze, I love it. Another clue scroll. Casket? Okay, imagine I get blessed the Icheps now, I would just be done with clue scrolls. That is not bless the Icheps. A 78 spiders, this could be the task where I complete Spindle if I get a treasonous ring. I'm sorry to the people who like doing elite clues because I am getting so many of them, but after last time I am never doing one again. Ooh, that was one tick away from being TB'd. <laughs> Good teleport. And that is 500 spindle KC and it doesn't feel like I've been here for that long but I guess the maze makes this a lot faster which is really nice. Spindle toss completed and sadly no uniques this time. Chaos Druids, always exciting because I still need this final piece. There it is, that, that is the final piece. I am done with Chaos Druids, oh that is, that is so nice. Okay, task completed, let's get out of here. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ooh, that looks really cool actually. Now the next set I wanna complete is of course Dagonite, so let's keep this going. That is a big jelly task. Now even though some people think it's insane to do this kind of tasks, they are insanely good for Lerenskis and I also want to get to 94 mage for Ice Barrage so I will take any mage XP that I can get. And there is 88 magic, still quite a way to 94 but you know, we are getting there. And Jelly Toss completed with a hard clue. Casket? Yeah, that is something. That is Lerenski number 10 again, so it is time to go to the chest and get absolutely nothing. Yeah, that is another 10 keys used and no Dagonite piece. Ooh, Revenants. Okay, now it's actually been a while, so that gets me excited. 
Okay, small update on the Revenant collection log. I just noticed that I am over 9k KC now and a lot of those were on task. So I should have all weapons by now, but you know, no complaining. Let's keep going. And that is Lerenski number 10 again. So after this task, we are gonna do an opening. That is 89 Slayer, so one level till the big 90. Wait, what? I've just been rushed by the Revenant boss. If if a PK are logged in, then that would have been so bad. And that's another ref task without a scepter, but we're now going to the Lerenski chest and we are gonna get a full deck and eye. Man, every time I come here, I think this is gonna be the one, and it never is. Sad game. Alright, the next task is gonna be Wilderness Task number 500, which is insane, so let's see what it is. Abyssal Demons. Okay, that is a very risky task, but I still wanna get a whip, so let's do this. Okay, this is me from the future. I realize that I am not using my blastiite body in so many clips. So when I die or if I die in this video, let's just pretend that it's because I'm using the wrong body. Dude, this task is so bad. I keep being teleported to 31 wilderness, which means that if a team logs in, I can't even teleport, which is terrifying. And that is task number 500 completed. No whip again sadly, but that is a massive point boost. And it's also starting to sink in that I have done 500 wilderness tasks and I have 1 out of 3 Dagonite pieces. But anyway, it is time for a clue scroll. That is a casket and we get... Oh, I completely forgot about these. Okay, so I think that the crystal shield is just too good overall even though this has amazing magic defense so maybe i'll bring it as a switch sometimes but really cool to get there we go it's been a long time honestly but that is 72 spiders and i'm really excited to go back to the spindle but first we have another clue scroll another casket interesting dude if you do the melee method properly this boss is so enjoyable but obviously i can't get too comfortable because if i get t-beat in here it is terrifying no i got it that, that is a treasonous ring and this means that i am done with the spindle oh my god i was not expecting this at all Man, I just got the most useless ring in the game and I'm over the moon. Now if we look at the log, you can see that I have fully completed the spindle. Obviously I am still missing the dragon to hander, but that's also on the drop table of Arteo and Calvarian, so I should get it eventually. And that means that I never have to go back to the spindle, which is amazing. Now even though the loot has been amazing already, this video is not ending until I either complete Dagonai, complete Revenants or lose my hardcore status. And something is telling me that the last option is the most likely one. When you see me at Mage Bank, you know what time it is and at the end of this opening I will be at 500 keys opened, which is almost a drop rate for full Dagonai twice. Let's do this. No. No. I didn't know that pixels can make you feel physical pain, but I feel it right now. Th that hurts. Alright, well, that is 500 keys opened now. I should have like 6 Dagonai pieces now, but instead I have 3, and they're all the same one. Yep. Jellies, that is a task you love to see. Okay. That was one second away from being full T-beat. And he probably has a team, so that is one second away from most likely dying. Whew. If you like this content, maybe click the like and subscribe. That would be really cool. Thank you. Okay, that made me really nervous, but that is the jelly toss completed with 5 keys, which is exactly why I do these, but I'm really happy to get out of there. 
and that is 90 Slayer, 100% from Wilderness Slayer. And honestly, I never expected to even make it past 80 Slayer, so the fact that we're still alive is just <laughs> crazy to me. We are back at the Mage Bank, and I am ready to be disappointed once again. I couldn't tell if that was a peak here or a key opener, but that was a pretty good reaction time, so that's good. And that is no Dagonai again. Casket? Oh, there it is. My first blessing. It's only a minimal upgrade. Uh, I think it's like plus one prayer bonus, but now I finally have something to put in my ammo slot, so I'm happy. Casket? Ooh. That is once again a blessed TI piece that I was not expecting, but that is an upgrade for range bonus and also for tanking, so that's amazing. So during this task I've been thinking that I am not gonna complete Dagonai in the next 10 keys, so instead I'm gonna get 20 or even 30 keys before going back and then hopefully we start getting some pieces. Casket? Ah, uh, Amulet of Avarice number 3. It is on the same drop table as the weapons. That's all I'm gonna say. And that is the task completed. One day there will be a scepter in this looting bag and it's gonna be an amazing day. Revenants again. I am getting so many of these now but it is time to get the scepter. Wait. I just got a crossbow. I picked it up so fast I didn't even realize. Oh, that could have been the scepter and that would have been revenants completed. But instead I have a duplicate crossbow. I, I need a minute. Okay, the only positive is that it does look cool in the bank because I now have a crossbow and a webweaver bow, but I would have much rather just completed revenants. And that is the task completed with sadly no more weapons. Oh, I was not even watching the screen but that is 91 Slayer and that is Cerberus Unlocked which I don't think I'll do unless one day I complete the wilderness. Okay, so a bit of backstory for this clip. This guy must have been a scout or at least someone who told their friend that I was there. And this is what happened. Wait, what? This guy is actually here to try and kill me. Wait. He can't even attack me. He has to be in level 6. And his name is Tiny Brain as well. Oh no. Cool name. Smile. Thank you. <laughs> what have I just witnessed? Jellies, that is beautiful. Because I am now at 28 keys. So after this task, we're gonna do a big opening. And there it is, Laren's key number 30. And that is actually my 600th Laren's key in total, which just sounds ridiculous. And Jelly Task completed. We're still alive. And now it is time to finally go get lucky again. Alright, it has been another week of getting Laren's keys. If I don't get at least one Dagonite piece here, I am gonna be so disappointed. First 10 keys used and nothing yet. Another 10 keys, another nothing. That is 600 keys in total now and another week of full focus for absolutely nothing. I, I don't know. I'm going to bed. Alright, it's another day and here we are again because honestly I just love doing this too much even though I get f***ed over by RNG. But we do have an amazing task right now which also happens to be the most risky wilderness task so we'll see how this goes. And that is the Necreal task completed with no trouble and we did get 8 Laren's keys which is an amazing start so let's keep this going. Revenants. I am now over 10k Revenant KC. It is kind of cool to have on a hardcore, but I hope that I'm done soon. And there is level 90 magic. We are getting closer to level 94, so let's hopefully stay alive during these burst tasks and maybe one day we will have Ice Barrage. Casket? Sarah Boots again. Man, I just want one pair of Blasty Eye Chaps. 
Ooh, that is a big task. Ancient medallion that is like number five or six. I don't even know anymore, but that is even more money, I guess. That is Rory again, so I'm actually gonna switch back to the knights and hopefully he doesn't find me there. No, 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 no. It looks so cool on the floor, but that is not what I'm looking for. I now have a duplicate crossbow and a duplicate chain mace. It has been weeks since I got a unique. Why? Why is this game bullying me? And that is the Revenant task completed. And that is quite the interesting looting bag which I don't want to talk about. So we're just gonna put this in the bank and pretend that nothing happened. And that is Laren skin number 30 once again. So after this task, we're going to the chest. Okay, this is me from the future once again. I got a bit negative at the end of this opening, so instead I'm just gonna let skill specs summarize my thoughts. Sad scam game. Oh wow, that was an actual team. Again, if I get TB there, I am just dead because there is no way you tank a full team and multi. Casket? Wait, I think I just TC'd. Okay, <laughs> that gets my heart racing every time. I think this guy is AFK in the wilderness, so it has to be done. Thank you very much for Max, you disgusting weak little sniper. Get off my you dumb, irrelevant rodent. Thank you for everything. Gasket? That is 92 Slayer. I have been doing a crazy amount of tasks, but... I want to make this video as good as possible, so I don't give up until I reach my goal or until I die. Revenants? Ancient statuette. I think that's only my second one, so that is kind of cool. An ancient effigy as well, and these are not on the drop table of the weapons, so I will take all of them. Keep it coming. Rory again. I guess we're changing locations again. That is task number 666 completed, so very spooky. And that is even more money in the bank. Lerenski, Lerenski, Lerenski. 20 keys in the bank once again, so it is time. After this opening, I am gonna be at 650 keys used, so it is technically and physically impossible to not have full Dagonite by then, so... Let's do this. Why do I keep having these high expectations? The final key... No. <laughs> that is just a sick, sick joke. I am done. Okay, so my final step is at the Nuvenen Artis, and if a team logs in here, I could be in trouble, but I think I should be fine. There is the casket. Let's get out of here. Okay, surely we get a blessed TI chaps now. I mean, I guess that's kinda decent, but it is not what I'm looking for. And Necreal task completed with 8 keys. This task is really intense, but it is so, so good. Casket? Ooh. That is the biggest Revenant task that I have ever had. Now remember when I said that this method is not safe and if someone knows what you're doing it is incredibly easy for them to hit you. Now it turns out that this guy was a scout and I even had a feeling that he was but I decided not to change worlds and let's just say that I paid the price. Oh my god. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I'm just gonna run because there is no chance I get a freeze on him. That was a 40 through the prayer. That, that setup is insane.
Bro, he's catching every single entangle. Okay, I think I'm doing really good on the prayers now. Two more levels and then I should be fine. That's a full TB, but that's fine. One more level, I just have to watch out for the spec now. There it is, okay, that's fine. Okay, we should be safe now. Okay, we've escaped. That was really intense, but I am so happy that I'm still alive. The only issue is that I only have 6 brews left now, so I guess we're going back to TUB to get some more. Alright, I got some gamers to help me here, so this should be really fast. There we go, this is the last run and I actually got myself 17 brews so that is enough for 2 more tank tests. And with that being said, we are going back to the revenants now and I'm a little bit nervous now, I'm not gonna lie. 94 hit points, okay, that is a beautiful level. Ooh, there is so much I want to say about this game now, but I'm just gonna take the bow and move on. It's fine. And that is another crossbow in the bank for the collection. Yeah, casket. Another 20 keys and no Dagonai. If anyone smarter than me knows what the odds are of only having one unique in this amount of keys, please let me know. And this is gonna be task number 700. Ooh, Necreals, okay. That is scary but extremely good. Wait, did I just get chanced? I, I think I messed up the prayer flicking. I believe these can hit like 25, so I should not be flicking, but it saves so many supplies, so I can't stop myself. And that is task number 700 completed, and we're still alive. Casket, Casket, Lerenski, 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 a Lerenski from a spider. That is super rare, and this is actually Lerenski number 700. It is time. Oh man, 700 keys and I'm still missing two pieces and all I got is four heads. Casket? Ooh, a Sarah d body. I mean, it's not a chap, so it's not an upgrade, but this is really cool. Oh, it looks so clean. Yeah, that is an upgrade in my eyes. Oh my god, I think I was late on the teleport and they couldn't TB me because I was too low level. <laughs> that is so lucky. And that is the Enku task completed. I have no idea why there's so many peak ears here, but it is so stressful. Okay, I'm gonna do an opening with only 10 keys because I'm feeling it. And if you have a look at this collection lock, come on, I have to get lucky sometime. <laughs> Why do I keep convincing myself that it's gonna happen when it literally never does? Oh, Revenants. Okay, it's actually been a long, long time, so that means this is gonna be the task, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. It happened. We got the scepter. It is done. We've, we've completed Revenants. Bro, we need to get out of here. Wait, that is Fuse. 
what what the hell is going on here so we were killing the knight in the same world that is so random and we made it out of there which means we've officially completed revenants as a hardcore this has been a crazy two months and we are now at 32 wilderness uniques and with this scepter we have now unlocked our full potential so make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna be uploading a lot more frequent again and that being said i'll see you soon oh.